So far, we have looked at how to represent preferences over two goods that are either perfect substitutes or perfect complements. We will now look at another class of utility functions and preferences that are common in microeconomics, mostly because they are particularly simple to work with. We say that a utility function is quasi-linear if it can be written as v of x1 plus x2, where v can be any function. For example, u equal to the square root of x1 plus x2 is quasi-linear. The reason for this name is that u is a linear function in the second variable x2, but a non-linear function in the first variable x1. A utility function u equal to x1 plus some function of x2 is also quasi-linear. If it's possible to represent preferences using a quasi-linear utility function, then we say that preferences are quasi-linear. Let's see what we can say about quasi-linear preferences. We represent them with a quasi-linear utility function, u is equal to some function v of x1 plus x2. An indifference curve is a level curve for the utility function, so let's look at the indifference curve giving us some arbitrary utility u0. The implicit relationship v of x1 plus x2 equal to u0 can easily be made explicit, and this is really why quasi-linear utility functions are so nice to work with. We have x2 equal to u0 minus v of x1. From this we can see that all indifference curves are vertical translates. The vertical distance between two indifference curves is the same for all values of x1. To see why, say that v of x1 is the square root of x1. The indifference curve for u0 equal to 20 has the equation 20 minus square root of x1. The indifference curve for utility 30 has the equation 30 minus the square root of x1. The graph of the second indifference curve will always be 10 units above the graph of the first one. From this, we also see that MRS is independent of x2. The slope of the indifference curve will not change if you move vertically upwards or downwards. If the utility function happens to be quasi-linear and linear in x1, then indifference curve will be horizontal translates and MRS will be independent of x1.